Hi friends, my name is Fawn and I'm an artist living and working in Thomaston, Georgia. It's a small town but a lovely town and I have a storefront studio which I will show right here. And also here is a picture of me because today you're just going to be seeing my, my hands. I wanted to do an unboxing of some new art supplies that I have in here. I, I kind of opened it, um, but I told myself that I would do, <laughs> I would do the video. I would take my time and do the video. So, if you have been following me for a while, then a couple weeks ago I did a tour of the things that I take with me while I travel. And I have decided since then that it is too much. It's too big and takes up a lot of room. I thought I would treat myself to new art supplies. So I bought some tiny, tiny art palettes from, let's see if I can pronounce it right, Expeditionary Art. And so this is the very popular pocket palette art toolkit. You will see them all over Instagram and YouTube and I definitely have bought into the hype and I'm looking forward to trying something new. So uh, let's open this up, shall we? I have been sitting on this for like two weeks, let me just tell you. <laughs> it's packed really well. Throw that aside. And there is that. Let's get that invoice out of there. Tissue paper. Get all that out of here. More tissue paper. <laughs> Look at this baby. Look at this tiny baby. Look at it. It comes packaged in its own little bag. open <laughs> let's get it out Ooh, and I actually kind of forgot what I ordered because it's been a couple of weeks and um, yeah I got the black one it's very sleek and sophisticated oh, I'm so excited about this look at that and it has a little mixing area here and here little tiny I'm not sure if I am gonna use these that's why I got these I'm not sure about the tiny ones but I don't blaze through watercolor as often as I would like to think I do if that makes sense so I got these Nice, nice. Look how cute. So cute. There we go. So I think what I'm going to do is this. Take the tiny ones out. As adorable as they are. Take those out. And take these medium ones out. And then replace all of that with these medium ones. And so we will have 10 colors to choose from in two mixing areas. I'm going to show you real quick a couple of pages from my travel sketchbook. I brought it with me to Michigan and uh, that's when I realized that I really, well I guess with that trip specifically it was for family so I didn't spend a lot of time exploring so uh, I did a little drawing on the plane and let's see I went out to breakfast by myself and then drew what was on my table while I waited for breakfast and that was in Frankenmuth which is a beautiful town I just don't have enough time to really explore it but I hope to go back soon and then <laughs> even though I stayed up there for a few days I didn't draw anything except for when I was waiting on the plane in Detroit so 
there we go. Those are two, the three images. Ooh, hey, there's another. <laughs> two or three images from a very short trip. And that's when I realized I needed to size down a lot of my supplies. So yeah, with this, I'm going to go places. And another thing that I have realized about myself as an artist is that I like to work smarter and not harder. So part of me wanted to sort of come up with my own special palette and pick out individual colors. And, um, and then another part of me just thought, just pick a set of colors that's already been curated by a manufacturer and call it a day. So <laughs> that's what I did. I just thought that I would, I would treat myself once again to Daniel Smith watercolors, but specifically Paul Wang's color plate lab set because I enjoy his work. He is an urban sketchbook artist. And, uh, you know, if he can do it, then I can do it. And these are just beautiful colors. The package itself got a little beat up on the way to my house. And let's see. I'll dump those out. Beautiful. I love them. So come with me as I try to fill up these pans. I have read and watched a lot of information about these uh, toolkits and about Daniel Smith watercolors and I believe that you should fill it up and then let it sit overnight and then fill it up some more. So that's what I will do. Let's see. I'm going to make sure I have a napkin nearby. do that for the rest of them. I'm trying to keep things clean. There we go. <laughs> this is a lot messier than I thought it would be. going down. It did not get any easier as I did this. But I have to make sure that the color stays next to its container so that I know which color is what. Especially with the dark ones. can't really tell. Saving the best for last. That was the easiest one to do. So we will let this sit overnight. And I'll come back to it tomorrow. There we go. Ten beautiful colors. And here we are a few days later. Everything is dried in its own little pan. You can kind of see there. They've shrunk a little bit. So I will probably go back in and fill them up some more. 
but I don't want to wait another day to try to record anything. So what I'm going to do now is spend a little time and swatch them out in my sketchbook. So I'm going to try to keep the pans with their colors and move them out of the way real quick. Put that right there. Here is my travel sketchbook that I hope to finish by the end of the year, but we will see. So, a little jar of water. There we go. I'm going to use my handy dandy brush pen. <laughs> or I guess my water pen. Water brush pen? There we go. And I have already written down the names of the colors, so I'm going to match those up with what I have. Let's see. Cerulean blue. And you can put down water first. I don't know, watercolors are are pretty versatile. Look how beautiful that is. So pretty. And now to do the rest of them. go just wonderful beautiful colors I think I'm in love oh, look at that I'm gonna spend the next few minutes just kind of refilling some of the pans um, like this one the orange really shrank so I want to fill that up some more and I've learned that if you just take whoops if you just take your you know your water brush pen and smooth it out after you fill it up then it will dry flat and that's what I would like because aesthetics so I will do that but for now I will let y'all go so thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next one thank you and bye I'll see you later bye bye